Hey guys, this is Hasti and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making these delicious and crispy but cheesy cheese kurkure. These are perfect as a party snack or even as a farsan to go with your main meal. Kids love it, adults love it and they are so easy to make. So let's begin with the recipe. I'm going to start with 120 grams of Britannia cheese. I am specifying the brand here for a very specific reason which I'll get to at the end of this video. So continue watching. I'm adding in some chopped coriander, following it up with some garlic, some green chili paste, oregano, and some garam masala. I have taken some whole olives and just chopped them up. And now I'm adding in some diced tomatoes. For the tomatoes, I have de-seeded them, cut them into quarters, remove the seeds and then chop them up. And I'm going to use that because I don't want the water from the tomatoes leaking inside my stuffing. Mix all this well, mash it up nicely and make a homogeneous mixture. Your mixture is now ready. I'm going to divide this mixture into 10 equal portions and roll them up like these cigar logs and prep them up for the kurkuris just like so and they are ready now I'm taking up one slice of sandwich bread and cutting off all the sides or corners And with the help of a rolling pin, I'm rolling it as thin as possible. Now be sure to use a fresh slice of bread here because if you use a stale bread, then it's not going to roll very thin. If you find that your bread is not rolling thin, you can wet it slightly with some water. But be careful not to make the bread too soggy. That's done and now I'm going to make a slurry with all-purpose flour and corn flour so that I can dip my cigars into this and then roll them into the sevayas which will make the outer crust super crispy and yummy. I'm adding in water by just eyeballing it. I'm just eyeballing the quantity of water here. This is the consistency that you're looking at. I'm going to take one rolled slice of bread and cut off the corners just so that it helps us with you know clean rolling of the kurkures. Just removing off some extra to keep it neat and clean. Now I'm going to brush the sides of the bread with the slurry that I've made. Be sure to cover all the four sides so that it creates a good seal and your cheese doesn't leak from the kurkure while frying. Add in the cheese in the middle and roll it like so. Press tightly once again to create a tight seal in order to avoid any frying disasters. nice and tight and now I'm just going to cut off the extra once again because you don't want the kurkuri to taste too bready and I'm keeping a minimum part of bread in the roll this is just some 
wheat vermicelli which is unroasted but this is quite long so I'm going to just mash it up with my fingers like this and create these fine strands which will coat the kurkure better. I'm going to thin down the slurry a little bit more because I needed the thick version to roll the, the, the kurkure but for dipping it into the sieve I need a slightly thinner slurry. Just dip your bread roll into the slurry and then remove all the excess completely. You don't want anything, any extra slurry on it because it will not fry properly and it will just spoil the taste. And now just coat it from all the four sides with the sieve so that this fries up into a crispy golden beauty. Roll it around and press all the sieve so that they stick well. Your roll is done. Now we will move over to making the dipping sauce which is a sweet chili jam. For that I am going to take 1 cup of water and then add in some ginger followed by some lemongrass. You can also use basil instead of lemongrass. The combination is just divine. Some Kashmiri chili powder for the color. 2 tablespoons sugar, yeah 2 tablespoons because this is a very sweet dipping sauce, some salt for taste and of course ketchup. Let all this come nicely to a boil and then add in the juice of 1 fourth of a lemon. Now I'm just going to thicken this up with some corn flour. I am making a slurry of corn flour with some water and adding it into the sauce while stirring continuously because you don't want any granules or corn flour lumps to remain in your sauce. You want your sauce to thicken up nicely and evenly. Mix it well and let this come to a nice rolling boil. At this stage you can sieve the sauce to remove all the larger pieces but I am just letting it be and after shutting off the gas I am adding in some chili flakes for the heat. Chili flakes make this sauce look really pretty so don't sieve them out. If you want you can sieve it before adding the chili flakes so all the ginger and the lemongrass is out of the sauce. But let the chili flakes be, they just add to the beauty of the sauce. Your sauce is now ready, let's get to frying the kurkure. In very hot oil, I am putting these kurkure in and letting them fry on all sides until they are crispy golden brown. Now I'm going to show you why I prefer Britannia cheese. So Britannia cheese has a higher water content because of which it melts very easily and into a very smooth liquid. So the mouthfeel of this dish is much better with that cheese. Just look at the oozing cheese. So guys this was the recipe. You can make it as a party snack, as a farsan or you can just eat it like that. It's really simple and easy to make. If you've liked this recipe, don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. For the recipe, you can go to my website. I will see you again next time with another interesting recipe. Till then, happy cooking.